Hey guys, Dennis Takuma here, and today I want to talk to you about raving fans and what they exactly they are. So there's a big thing in marketing speech that says you got to build raving fans, people that are going to brag about you, talk about you, tell you about you to your friends. So Avengers Endgame, by the way, if you've seen the movie, was built up about raving fans. They built this entire culture around the Marvel Universe that when Endgame came out, the theaters were packed. In fact, there's some theaters that, smaller theaters that the only th the only show they had open was Avengers Endgame because the volume of people that went through it. They created these raving fans that just wanted to tell the story and tell the story to their friends when they've seen it about how good it is and get more people in there and get them buying from them over and over and over again. They built a great raving fan process to get people just to, to come in and, and do this. There's some restaurants that do it really well that said, hey man, Dennis goes to, the, goes to this restaurant, has a great experience, goes tells his friends, hey, you gotta go to this restaurant, you gotta have this same experience, it was a great time. Hey, I went on this trip, you gotta go on the same trip. It's the same thing. Hey man, I use this plumbing company, you need a good plumber, use my plumber. That's raving fans, people that do your marketing for you so you don't have to invest a lot of money into marketing. Now here's the thing about raving fans. You can manipulate the process to ensure that you get more people talking about you. But it has to be intentional and it has to be focused. So your raving fan strategy, your raving fan process needs to be documented to be intentional to manipulate your marketplace. Now we've got a great business up here. I'm not going to name names. My, my job in these videos isn't to plug other businesses and give them free marketing. But this company, I believe, built their entire business on offering a free thing every time somebody bought. Now what was their free thing? Their free thing was donuts. So if you ordered from them and they made a delivery, they also gave you a box of donuts. Now why was this so brilliant? Well, because the gift wasn't to an individual. That gift was specifically to the business, whoever they were dealing with. So then the next time somebody would order part or would order something and it didn't come from that company, they'd be like, hey, where's the powdered donuts, guys? <laughs> because we wanted our donuts and we got our stuff. They built raving fans simply by delivering something extra every single time they did it. I know of other companies who've intentionally marked up their prices so they can give a discount every time somebody comes in. So what does that look like? Well, okay, so every time I go do a service call or I go do something, I'm able to mark up my prices in such a way that I can give a discount every time. Hey man, job went really good, here's 10% off your bill, just thank you so much for giving us a hand or letting us help you out, whatever it happens to be. That discount became their way of market manipulation. They manipulated their prices so they could give the discount, not lose any money, but everybody felt good because they provided something, they gave them something, people felt like they won. Another raving fan thing is probably WestJet. If you've ever flown with any airline, I, for me personally, you might have your own personal preferences, but I have a hard time flying somewhere if WestJet isn't going there. Because they've done such a good job to ensure that the flights are fun, that I want to talk about it, that I'm enjoying the experience, that I'm not stressed out, that everything is taken care of and I know they're going to take care of me. That's enough to make me a raving fan to go talk to them about it. And it's in their, it's, it's in their training handbooks, it's in how they handle everything to ensure that people are saying and talking about them and driving referrals into their business. I never went on WestJet because of marketing. I went on WestJet there for my very first flight because somebody told me you gotta fly WestJet. So I made a point of flying WestJet and I have a hard time honestly flying with any other airline. So what's a raving fan process? A raving fan process is the way you're gonna go about intentionally manipulating your audience to get them to buy more stuff from you because of the experience that they've had that they wanna tell their friends and you set and stage that up. Now, all of our one-to-one -one clients that we work with, they get that raving fan process tool to help them build it out for themselves. And for you, I would do the same thing. I'd build out that raving fan process in such a way that you're manipulating and tracking to know if what you're doing is having an effect. And by the way, Tom Hopkins, a great guy to listen to if you ever look him up on YouTube, a great sales guy, built his entire business off of thank you cards. He would simply send out a thank you card for every transaction he ever did. And those thank you cards earned him more business than probably any other exercise that he did because every time somebody contacted him, he'd write out a handwritten thank you card. Hey, thank you so much for connecting today. It was great to see you again. Hey, thank you so much for buying from me. I hope we can help you out in the future. Hey, thank you so much for the phone call today. It was great to reconnect. Whatever. Hey, thanks for the email. It was always nice to hear from you. Whatever. Handwritten thank you cards. And he'd send them out and deliver them in post. And people receive these in the mail and they feel like jack and, and ecstatic for it because, well, who hands out thank you cards? Almost nobody anymore. So build out your raving fan process, be intentional about it, and watch business come to you so that you always have to search for more business.